As I sit here, sipping my coffee and reflecting on the past year, I'm overwhelmed with a sense of pride and love. My partner, Alex, and I have embarked on a journey that has not only transformed our relationship but also our understanding of each other and ourselves. I remember the first time Alex confided in me about his feelings. We were sitting on our old, comfortable couch, the one with the faded cushions. His hands were trembling slightly, a stark contrast to the usually confident, almost stoic persona he presented to the world. I've always felt different, he began hesitantly, I feel happiest and most myself when I embrace a more submissive, feminine side. Hearing him reveal this hidden part of his identity was both surprising and enlightening. I saw the vulnerability in his eyes, a silent plea for acceptance and understanding. I love you for who you are, Alex, I assured him, taking his hands in mine. And I support you in exploring this part of yourself. Encouraging Alex to express his femininity wasn't just about clothes or outward appearances. It was about allowing him the freedom to explore an identity he had suppressed for so long. We started slowly, with me gently encouraging him to express his femininity at home. I remember the first time he wore a dress. He twirled in front of the mirror, his eyes lighting up with a joy I hadn't seen before. Our journey wasn't without its challenges. There were moments of doubt and fear, especially about how friends and family would react. But we faced these challenges together, with open communication and unwavering support. Seeing Alex embrace his submissive, sissy identity was like watching a flower bloom. He became more confident, happier, and more in tune with himself. And our relationship? It grew stronger and more intimate. We learned to communicate on a deeper level, understanding and embracing each other's needs and desires. Now, as Alex sits across from me, his nails painted a soft pink, a content smile on his face, I feel an immense sense of love and admiration for him. We've grown together, not just as partners but as individuals. We've navigated the complexities of identity and gender expression, and in doing so, we've discovered a deeper, more authentic love. Continuing our journey, I found myself delving into realms I never expected. The world of makeup, dresses, and high heels became a shared space for us, a place of exploration and bonding. I remember the first time we decided to experiment with makeup. We sat at our dining table, which we had transformed into a makeshift beauty station, strewn with an array of cosmetics. My hands were steady as I applied foundation to Alex's face, but I could sense his excitement mixed with a tinge of nervousness. Each stroke of the brush was a step towards unveiling a part of him that had been hidden away. The transformation was not just physical. With each layer of makeup, I could see him becoming more comfortable, more himself. The dresses and heels were a whole new adventure. We started with something simple, a knee-length floral dress that accentuated his newfound femininity. The first time he slipped into it, his face lit up with a mix of wonder and disbelief. I never thought I could look like this, he whispered, almost to himself. Then came the high heels. It was a challenge at first. Alex teetered around our living room, his steps uncertain but determined. I held his hand, guiding and steadying him, sharing laughter and encouragement. Those moments were filled with a delightful mix of hilarity and tenderness. As Alex's confidence grew within the safety of our home, so did his desire to express his identity publicly. The decision to step outside in his full expression wasn't taken lightly. We talked about it for weeks, weighing the excitement against the fear of judgment and misunderstanding. The day he decided to go out dressed as his true self, my heart swelled with pride and protectiveness. We chose a quiet cafe that we frequented, where the atmosphere was cozy and accepting. As we walked hand in hand, I could feel the nervous tension in his grip but there was also a sense of liberation emanating from him. Sitting at the cafe, sipping our coffees, I could sense the curious glances from others. But Alex, he held his head high, his earlier nervousness melting away as he realized that the world didn't end. He was being himself, and that was okay. That day marked a significant milestone in our journey. We continued to go out, sometimes facing challenges, but more often than not, we were met with acceptance or simply the indifference of strangers caught up in their own lives. 
Our journey took another step when we introduced a new dimension to Alex's feminine identity, choosing a female name for him. After much thought, he chose, Sophie. It was like watching him embrace a part of himself that had been waiting to be acknowledged. Whenever I called him Sophie, his eyes would light up, and a soft smile would grace his lips. It was more than a name, it was an affirmation of his identity. Sophie's wardrobe gradually became a reflection of her personality. Together, we handpicked items, from elegant dresses to casual skirts, blouses with delicate lace details, and an array of shoes, including more high heels, which she had become adept at walking in. Each item in her wardrobe was chosen with care, reflecting the vibrant and expressive side of her personality. The transformation of the closet mirrored the transformation in Sophie's life, a transition from suppression to expression. At home, Sophie began to take on what we playfully termed, sissy girl tasks. It was a way for her to express her femininity in everyday life. She delighted in managing aspects of our home life that she felt resonated with her sissy identity. This included organizing our home in uniquely creative ways, cooking meals with a flair, and sometimes serving me tea in the evenings, wearing one of her lovely dresses and a beaming smile. These tasks weren't about enforcing stereotypes or roles but rather about allowing Sophie to express her identity in ways that felt natural and fulfilling to her. It was a consensual and joyful part of our relationship dynamic, full of respect and mutual understanding. Integrating these elements into our daily lives brought a new level of depth to our relationship. For Sophie, it was a form of expression and identity affirmation. For me, it was about supporting and celebrating the person I love in all her complexity. Our home became a sanctuary where Sophie could be her true self and where I could witness and support her continual journey of self-discovery. Living with Sophie, my submissive sissy, became an experience filled with joy, mutual respect, and deepening love. Our life together was a harmonious blend of traditional routines and new, explorative elements that celebrated her identity. Each morning, waking up next to Sophie was a reminder of the unique journey we were on together. Her presence brought a sense of completeness to my life. We'd start our day with a simple routine. While I prepared breakfast, Sophie would often be tidying up the house, her movements graceful and contented. She took pride in these moments, and it brought me happiness to see her so fulfilled. In our relationship, the dynamic of her being submissive and a sissy was balanced with respect and care. It was never about control, but rather about a consensual exchange of roles that brought us both comfort and happiness. Sophie's submissiveness was expressed through small acts, like choosing my favorite dress for her to wear for the day, or asking for my preferences in our daily routines. Evenings were our special time. We would often sit together, Sophie at my feet, resting her head against my knee as we talked about our day. These moments were intimate and serene, a time for connection and reflection. Sometimes, I'd read a book aloud while she listened, her eyes closed in contentment, or we'd watch a movie her head resting in my lap, my fingers gently playing with her hair. Weekends were a time for socializing and adventure. We often hosted small gatherings with close friends who were supportive and accepting of our relationship dynamic. Sophie reveled in these occasions, proudly playing the role of hostess, her outfit and demeanor a perfect blend of sissy elegance and grace. There were also quiet moments of vulnerability, where Sophie would share her fears and insecurities. I made sure to be her pillar of strength during these times, reassuring her of my unwavering support and love. Our communication was open and honest, forming the backbone of our relationship. As we navigated our life together, I saw Sophie grow more confident and radiant.